Okay, probably a lot of you already know or have this device. It's called an air sound horn. All right, I just got this and it has it has about 115 decibels and I looked on a decibel scale online and it and it has that way over not quite in the red area but it'll it certainly will wreck your hearing if you uh, put your ear in front of this thing and it's loud enough to get a motorist's attention uh, f for sure <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if there's a difference this is shows the air sound on the front but this one in here is an air sound XL so I just got this and when you open the box here there's not a whole lot in it um, this is the uh, air sound XL and basically it's very simple let's see here it has a this whole uh, outer container has this uh, velcro type stuff on it so you can attach it really well and essentially this is filled up from a pump that has a um, standard valve on it like you'd see on an automobile or at a gas station. It's called a Schrader valve as opposed to a Presta valve which a lot of us have on our trikes. And the, the nice thing about this, this is nothing but a heavy duty like a plastic bottle, okay? I mean it doesn't weigh anything and it has this tube for air to go through and then there's this little horn and when it's when you have this all set up you push down on this white button and it sounds the air in you know from this compressed air that you put in it so you maximum 80 psi pounds per square inch or 5.5 bars of pressure in this thing and the, the more pressure you have the louder it gets and the way you refill it is you raise this little, the little button and you see there is a Schrader valve here so you just screw your air pump onto that and so basically and then you put the button back down and then you're ready to go <laughs> and there's a there's a knob here. I haven't read all the instructions yet, but you can adjust it from louder to softer. And that might be here. There's a little... Oh yeah, that, that's it right there. There's some little device right there. And I want to see how long this, uh, this line is here, because this will determine how far away you can mount the bottle. Okay, so that is uh, 29 inches. 29 inches. So basically, bicyclists, what they do, there's, oh, there's a couple, I think there's something else in here I saw. Yeah. There's little mounting brackets for handlebars, and then there's this, uh, part here which allows you and there's some little uh, zip ties in there and it allows you to attach it to your handlebar there's a variety of ways to do it you can use this velcro around your frame as it shows here and then the little zip ties you can you know for added security to put it on and so you know you could on on the trike i, I want to figure out where to put this i could mount it um, underneath the uh, frame, Whoop. oh, that comes off. Okay, so you can you can attach it however you want. It's pretty handy, and so I can mount that under the main frame, or I'm going to see uh, if 
and I don't know where I'm going to mount this yet. On a bicycle, you mount it on a handlebar. Now our handlebars are, are uh, sideways. Well, some handlebars that have um, direct steering, there's a part that comes out that's horizontal like a bicycle. So it, it all depends on, on your particular trike and where you want this, but obviously you want to have this little switch where you push, you want to have that handy where you can use this at a moment's notice. You, you don't want to have to search for it if you need it for something. So basically my job now is to find out where I can put this. I'd like to mount it behind the seat and uh, run it up to the bar. I don't know if this is going to be a long enough air tube to do that or not. I might have to put it on the frame. But anyway, it's the Air Zound XL. Um, I think I paid uh, 40 some dollars for it and then to have it shipped it was you know additional money on top of that so I think I got a little over 50 bucks in this thing but uh, um, we'll see how it works and those of you that have these things you can report in the comments what you think about your air zound horns by a company called Delta inside this little bag that comes with it are two uh, mounting mechanisms probably for different sized tubes there is a fine threaded Phillips head screw and a couple little nuts there are a couple pieces of rubber probably a shims to put inside here so it doesn't slip on the bar and then there is this piece here that I, from what I can tell attaches to this like this it gives you another way to mount it so I guess they give you enough stuff that uh, you can oh they give you a couple zip ties so you can kind of figure out and mount it however it works best for you on your uh, own human powered vehicle and so have a troubleshooting thing here air won't go into the bottle let's see the horn makes a windy sound seems loose on the handlebar horn loses air over time okay so it, it uh, and it's anything else email us at airzound at samuicore.com